If you're watching this video, you probably saw the headlines. After Effects now has Content Aware. What? That's crazy. I remember when Content Aware came out for Photoshop, it was like magic. And when I got to try it myself, it still felt like magic, but it wasn't quite there. Well, over the last, I don't know, four or five years, it's gotten better and better to the point where they could now include it in After Effects. And I'm super excited to try it out. I'm, this is gonna be a full tutorial on how to use it. I'm still new to it myself, I'm just now. I just updated the software maybe 30 minutes ago and I still need to test it out, see how it actually works and how to get it to have the best results. But I figure I'll show you a little bit of how to use it, but the more fun thing to do would be to push it to its limits. Try some really fun removals of things to see what it can actually do. So I have my friend Tall here. Hey buddy. What's up? He's a little blurry, but you want to help out? You want to help me remove some stuff? I think I could do that. Cool. Let's get to it. All right, I'm gonna start out with something easy. I don't need you yet, but I'll okay. let you know when I need you. Should I step over there? Yeah, I'm just gonna try to get rid of this this picture in this frame here on the wall. This beautiful photo that I took that is for sale on my website, but I don't want it there anymore. And I don't want to take it down, so let's try to get rid of it. Ooh. So far, so good. Okay, let's put it back. And now let's try to do something a little bit more complicated. Okay, I need you now. All right, make sure we got plenty of light. Hold on. Okay, you're focused. Okay, so now Tall is filming. And just make it so that it's like a uh, close-up. Not an extreme close-up, but like shoulders and up. That's good. And um, we're gonna just try to get rid of some of my facial features. So maybe first we'll get rid of my eyebrows. Ooh, ooh. Ew, Jacob. <laughs> All right, and now let's try to get rid of my nose. Do a, like a little Voldemort thing going on. He who must not be named. You could fart now if you wanted to. Oh, I Jacob, can't smell this it. looks so bad, dude. Your <laughs> nose is gone. What the heck, man? All right, now let's try to scoot back a little bit. Okay. And let's try to get rid of my head, the whole head. Your whole head? Let's see if that works. Three, two, one. Jacob! Jacob, can you hear me? Jacob? Oh, no. Oh my God, Jacob. I'm here, Jacob, I'm in front of you, I'm in front of you. Walk towards me. Oh no. Jacob, you're going the wrong way, bud. You got it. this, oh no. Are you kidding me? That was terrifying. I don't know where that was, but I don't want to go back. Let's stop. All right. So, I'm gonna try to erase you. So let's go out in the street here, wait for no cars. You want me to be in front of the light or behind the light? But I want you to go down there, maybe like Does my hair look 50 okay? feet. Doesn't matter, we're gonna get rid of you. Yeah, that's good. All right, just jump around and dance and something. In one spot or move around? Move around. I'll be honest, I just wanted to see him dance like that. <laughs> but I guess for the sake of science and for the sake of this video, let's actually try to remove him from the street. <laughs> so as you've seen, I've already done a bunch of these clips. I showed them to you already, but I've got one here I want to do. And uh, what we'll do is we'll Rent, replace this with After Effects composition, one of the best parts about the Adobe Creative Suite. Um, so we'll open that up, give that a second to open. Okay, so now we have our footage here in After Effects as a new composition. The first thing I'm gonna need to do, since the camera is moving around, I'm moving around, I want to track my head since we're removing my head. If you had your camera just static on a tripod, um, and the thing you were removing is in the background, it's not moving. You wouldn't have to track it, you wouldn't have to do this part. But we're gonna have to do a few steps, I'll show you what I'm doing. So first, I'm gonna track the motion here. No need to, to track rotation or scale in this case because we're just tracking my head moving around. So I think I'm just gonna track my, <laughs> my soul patch here. Uh, get that going there. And then we'll click track forward, analyze forward. So if it screws up, we can always stop it and adjust it, but it should do a pretty good job. This is 4K footage. And there we go. We have our track. I'm going to create a new 
null object here. By the way, if you don't know how to do all this, the tracking and that kind of stuff, I'll put a link in the top corner to uh, a video where I learned how to do this. It's pretty simple once you know how to do it, uh, but I'm not gonna go through it in this video because that's not what this video is about. So I'm gonna apply that track to the null layer here. And then what I'm gonna do, there may be a better way to do this, but this is how, this is how I've been doing it. I'm gonna create a new solid, make that white and just put it over everything. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the position of the solid and I'm gonna do Alt and click on the stopwatch. That'll give me a little pick whip and I'm gonna pick whip that to the position of the null. And that will just make it so it's tracked to that. But I don't want this whole big solid, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on that white solid and then I'm gonna create a mask. But before I do that, I'm gonna change the opacity down to like 50 so I can see where I'm clicking. And then we'll create a nice little mask outside of my head here. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect um, for these purposes. If you were actually trying to do this, you would wanna spend a little bit more time with this, but I'm not. So I'm just gonna do that. We'll put the opacity back up to 100. And now if I change the track map of my video layer to alpha inverted matte white solid, bam. We now have a transparency where my head is, and if I scrub forward, you can see it tracks along. It's not perfect again. You can see the side of my head over here. So, now that we have transparency, this could be transparency anywhere. If I wanted to remove this, this purple camera up here, I could do that as well just by creating a transparency around it, by creating a mask. But once we have a transparency, we now have this option over here called Content Aware Filter. I can click that and you can see there's our transparency there. Transparency there. Um, alpha expansion, I think this will expand the masked area a little bit. I'm not sure what the numbers correlate to, if it's a percentage or if it's a number of pixels or what. Um, and then below that you have the fill method. So again, this is brand new to me. I haven't done any reading on any of this stuff. Um, I just started messing around with it, but we have three fill methods, object, surface, and edge blend. So when I remove that, picture on the wall there. I used edge blend and it worked perfectly. Um, I think object is if I were move, removing something specific in the background here and then surface would be if I were removing um, something out of surface. I'm not quite sure I need to mess around with them a little bit more but what we're going to do is we're going to say object since my head is an object we remove that and the range we're going to do work area. The reason for this is I tried 10 different times to to run this to generate the fill layer um, using or for all 10 seconds of this and it failed every single time my computer ran out of memory I've got 8 gigs of RAM I've got 4 gigs of um, GPU RAM and a an i7 processor and even with all of that it was so intense that it ran out of memory so what I've been doing instead is just pulling this down to one or two seconds. Let's just do one because this one's pretty intense. And then we'll just run that. So I have now have the work area set to just one second. I'll generate fill layer. By the way, while that's working, you also have the ability to create a reference frame. So if you wanted to create a reference frame that's sort of like a clean plate that the software can look at. So specifically here, we've got a lot of stuff in the background that it has no idea what's behind me. So it's gonna grab from here and here. But if I had a picture of that actual stuff, I could have that as a reference frame and it would probably do a better job of replacing the area here that's missing with my head. So you can see down here we've got a percentage of it analyzing and then once it analyzes it will generate the frames uh, that is that are missing here. Okay you can see that it's grabbed my shirt here <laughs> to replace some of this stuff. By the way, the shirt is for sale down below the video if you'd like to have one for yourself. But uh, not great. <laughs> we don't want my shirt up here replacing this stuff. We want the shelf. Um, again, if I had created a reference frame, it probably would have done a better job, but uh, we only got time for that. So um, the other thing that you'll notice, um, and you might have noticed when you watched the initial thing, is that because we have to do every one second um, it sort of jumped to the next thing and it wasn't consistent. There wasn't a smooth transition like there were with the nose and, and other stuff. So um, if you've got a more powerful computer, that's great. Maybe this time we'll try to do two seconds instead of one second and see how that goes. Um, so let's try it. So it looks like this time we got a few more stuff, maybe some of the leaves from up here. Um, let's try to play back 
you can see it sort of the background isn't static there I don't know if that's because of my fill method here um, or if it's just this software's not good enough yet uh, but it even though it's not how it should be it has sort of a cool look watch when it plays back in real time here it's sort of wiggling like my head's stuck in the wall you could actually maybe do a cool like, predator style effect you know where you have that where you know like the invisibility cloak from halo where you're invisible but you can still sort of see the background let's actually cut back to my camera and i'll give my final thoughts on content aware and after effects conclusions it's not perfect by any means but it's huge it's a huge step forward in technology for adobe and for us filmmakers and visual effects artists and compositors it will get better just like content aware got better this will get better and adobe now has their own machine learning algorithm and software called adobe sensei i think and so the more people use this the better it will get at identifying stuff and if you use it for the right projects obviously removing my nose and my eyebrows and my head in front of this really complicated shelf was not the ideal situation. But as you saw when we were on the street where I, the camera was fairly static, I was still handheld, but it was fairly static. And the object or the subject was moving back and forth, allowing After Effects to see the whole background. It did an awesome job. If I had spent another 10 minutes masking him out better, it would have removed him perfectly and you probably wouldn't have even known he was there aside from the noise. So I think this has huge potential for a lot of people who are masking stuff and tracking stuff. It has the potential to cut down a lot of time on their workflow, which is really exciting. And it's only gonna introduce more use cases as it gets better and better. Um, if I figure out how to use this software even better and figure out some cool new uses for it, I'll make an updated video. But uh, I encourage you to go look around YouTube for some other videos diving deeper into the software, which I didn't do in this video. Um, if I find any myself that are really great, I'll leave them in the description below. But if you enjoyed this video, why not subscribe and click that notification bell? I've got lots more content coming. As always, I am very, very close to 15,000 subscribers right now, and I want to be to 20 before the summer starts. So subscribe, hit that notification bell if you like this video. I'd really appreciate it. And that's all. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to create and explore. See you in the next one. Bye.